Hey everybody, welcome back to Rebootleggers. This is a comedy near, it's like, it's almost, com it's close to comedy. It's, like, it's a talking at re record. The first it's, line of it. it's like if comedy. Hey Scott, hey Scott, stop, stop, stop. Start over. Take them to the top. It's like, it's almost a comedy. And it's mm -hmm. like when you, someone says, hey, this movie's really funny, and then you watch it, and you think it's going to be like a Seth Rogen movie, but it turns out it's like a Wes Anderson movie, and you're like, this is very different. Mm -hmm. but, it's funny, but it's just different from what yeah. I was expecting. Someone told me- I always love seeing a Seth Rogen movie. That's, <laughs> so, that's what Someone told me to watch me The Life Aquatic, because it's super hilarious. And then I watched it, and I was like, that oh, this is- That person was lying to you. No, that movie is funny, just in a very it's, different way than yeah, I was expecting. Yeah, but it's not- Yeah. Anyway, it's I'm Scott not, Owen. You're not laughing out loud as much. Yeah, <laughs> I'm I'm Scott Owen. I'm I'm Frank Sarah. I'm I'm one, I'm one of the friends that's here. I'm the Life Aquatic with Rebecca Frost. Yeah, and joining us once again is official now friend the of the Royal show, Royal Tenenbaums. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, Brock Wilbur, writer, comedian, uh, and and a Tenenbaum, and, pu and published man, published man now, Pub published man. <laughs> Is this your first publishing? No, this is like my fifth book. Ooh. Well, and, well, and previously well. published man. <laughs> okay, that that sounded sarcastic when you went beyond <laughs> the first one. <laughs> um, Brock, oh wow, a book, <laughs> a book, a book. Tell us, okay, wow. you know what? I'll buy. For those you know of us listening, a book, a book is <laughs> like having a conversation, and for later, <laughs> Rebecca, did you say what's a book? Yeah, I said I'll bite. What's a book? Oh yeah, it's a. Uh... It's so it's well, like how do you start? <laughs> it's like <laughs> it's like someone's telling you what to what to think of, but if ooh, ooh, don't all like in that. a row. <laughs> it's all, somebody describing a movie, but they're not very good at it, so mm -hmm. it takes a lot longer. That's <laughs> sort of the thing. I like his description a lot better. Yeah. Um You know you know how when you can hear somebody like you're like at like Starbucks or you're like on the bus or something. You mm -hmm. hear somebody else having <laughs> you a conversation with the their bus. friends about something you're interested in, but you don't know those people well enough for you to chime in, even though you kind of wish you could. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's a book. That's what a book is. A few things are different around here since you were here, Brock. We got a we got another person, as I'm sure you've noticed. Yeah, I noticed. <laughs> and um, on on your it end, got better. <laughs> got real better <laughs> it certainly did uh and and we've noticed on your end you're looking more like uh an editor in chief these days than last Whoa. time we talked uh, to you uh oh hey he he out of the bag. i actually <laughs> i had some questions about that if i may sure go ahead so since becoming an editor in chief have you found that you've been demanding pictures of things the same amount less or more than you used to or specific individuals who might be like like menaces to society yeah are you oh oh, 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 oh. okay i get what you're saying well uh i would have had a different answer two days ago uh, but mm -hmm. now uh, I am faced with the situation that on Monday uh, we have one of those let's restart the world protests coming up oh, here good. in the city. Oh, on Monday? Uh, on Monday. And we had like a photographer reach out to us, which I was like, we're not going to cover this. And this guy was like, hey, I'm going to go anyway. Would you like my photos? And he's a very good photographer. <laughs> and so it, 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 it created this uh, like ethical uh, quandary that we had in the office that was uh, in the digital office that was like a, an episode of The Good Place is like, is it ethical <laughs> to allow someone to go to this or to send them to do this s telling them that like, you know you're, you're covering this for us because my write-up of it will just be two words uh, that are very heckin' uh, idiots loud. Heck, heckin' idiots that's actually, you know what? I'm actually going to do that instead of the fuck you I was going to do. <laughs> Heckin' idiots. Way better. It's incredible sure that you're on this show that I, now, like, this is a better show with you. Uh, you. Yeah. So, yeah, it is a big thing of, like, what do you want to do? And this guy was like, well, I have a 70 millimeter lens. Uh, I wipe down my kit and myself as soon as I get home. Like, I have a whole system. <laughs> he to was not going get this. to go spy on his ex wife anyway. <laughs> exactly. Uh, Cecilia left him and like she's a bitch for it but like let's agree that like and she's gonna be she's the dumb enough anyway. to die because yeah. of this yeah he's like I was gonna be out there 
<laughs> him wiping himself. So yeah, it's it is hard to uh, cover uh, news in a city full time, especially in a city that is bisected by a state line. I literally live on State Line Road, uh, which separates Kansas from Missouri uh, in this time. So uh, our governors and local uh, politicians have set in force much different orders. So like on my side, I'm like, we're doing good. And I look across the fucking actual street. And I'm like, oh, hey, look at all those assholes. Uh, <laughs> with no masks, <laughs> That's, not giving a shit about it? anything. And it's just like, oh, okay, we're, well, we were all going to the same gas station now. So like, uh, oh. neat, neat problem to have. <laughs> is it literally the other side of your street is another state? Just like literally it, across the street. It truly is. I'm not doing like a, That's oh, weird. I can see Alaska from my house. It is literally a different state across my hmm. street. And you're like, oh, the rules are different and the people are different. And when this is over... I will hate them. I hate them <laughs> we so much. We do not much. go over there. We do not yeah. go over there. So there's going to be like we, a wall. We bought our first point. house and like our back neighbor uh, keeps throwing barbecue parties with all these people no. and no one is doing social distancing and they get crazy drunk and scream all night. And like in normal situations, they'd be like, hey, I want to go meet you. want to go uh, help yeah. fix your playlist. This would be fine. And now it's just like for the next 10 years, I will fucking <laughs> hate you on everything <laughs> that you do every every moment that you exist i'll be like why won't you die i want you to, <laughs> to, you to try be. to make make er, other people die like fucking wake the fuck up like it, it it's the problem of right now that's like we're gonna get out of this and everyone's just gonna come out of it with like gigantic chips on their shoulder yeah. against everyone else they know <laughs> there is gonna be so much animosity uh so how many my how, hand. how many cigars would you say you're chomping on a day lately since since becoming editor-in-chief i stopped cigars a year ago but like now i'm trying to figure out what the equivalent cigar is and it's the probably gum's just not uh, the same how many jewels are you yeah, yeah. how many how many jewel pods are you are you ejecting I, I i would say that a bottle of vodka disappears daily uh is that what oh, you're, so you're more of a, you're more of a trumbo in the bathtub kind of guy Mm-hmm. Trumbo in the bathtub kind Only of guy. Bath- yes. Was that his name? It was Trumbo, right? <laughs> I'm saying the thing, the Brian Cranston movie with the with the yeah. writer in the tub. Didn't yeah. he drink a lot? Sorry, your only reference is is Brian Cranston for who um, Trumbo is. Hey, uh, let's. Hey, hey no, 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 let's fine. let's not talk about. Should I feel bad about this? Yes. No, no, no. <laughs> you're fine. You're such a pretty boy. <laughs> okay, well that's good. I've, I've, I haven't seen Euro Trip. Is he in that? Oh my god! Oh my god! You piece of shit! Oh my god! Why? <laughs> cool. Um. So we're we're gonna we're gonna reboot the movie Blackbeard's Ghost, which I finally got Rebecca to watch. Frank opted out once more. Um, I, I had a bedtime. Yeah, that's fair. A bedtime. It sounded like you said bad time. But this movie, and Brock, you it's, are not familiar like with this movie, It sounds like this might be right? a bad time as well. <laughs> no, yeah. I have no idea. I'm not going <gasps> to watch this. <laughs> oh my god, you have to. It's, a, it's so... No, 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 I like the idea of him trying to describe it to me. <laughs> yeah, you, uh, you can watch it after the show. That's more interesting. <laughs> but see, like, here's the thing. Here's the thing. For months, for months, Scott has been <laughs> describing Blackbeard's ghost to us. And I have <laughs> negative seven interest in this movie. Uh-huh. I... I tried to track down a copy of the book that it's based off of. It's based on a book. And I got a copy of it, but I never read it. Uh, Didn't you get the Braille copy? I I got the, uh, like, uh, disability copy. Yeah. So I'm not entirely sure how to what? use it. Anyway, but Scott finally made us watch it last night. And you know what? A secret gem of a movie it's so good so which is rare for us we try not to re- but it's more just this movie doesn't need a reboot and that's why we're rebooting it so i'm nine- more interested in your like a uh, book of eli uh <laughs> getting the braille copy of shit here that like you're like i don't know i clicked the wrong amazon button but i ran with it <laughs> oh it well, was it's a not even, saga i couldn't yeah, I couldn't book. even like just buy it. I had I had to borrow it from this like specific library. They put her on a wait list, and she said, "Okay, I'll wait for it." Mm-hmm. What? A, a series of events occurred. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, you so, put in so much more effort to this than I put it into Mars Attacks. Yeah. Like, I just, hey, listen, so don't talk it. about Mars Attacks. Mars Attacks, episode 89 of the show. Whoa. Um, Did you just Mars pull the is, is that? That was so I, fast. I, I, I looked up Brock's previous appearances beforehand so I could pepper them in. Didn't Whoa. he come on for episode 87, too? Episode 87, Boxcar Children, was Brock's me. first appearance on the show. And then he came back two episodes later? Wow. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't know if you know. Uh, my dad listened to that episode and uh, made me a Boxcar Children shirt and Aww. sent it to me via one of those shirt sites. And I was like, "That's great, Dad. What? What the fuck hell is this? <laughs> oh, we're uh, gonna need to see a photo. I love your dad because he does listen to our show, and he he does <laughs> he interacts with me on Twitter, and it's very fun for me because oh, no. <laughs> he'll just like like my like my bad jokes or like i think he retweeted me a couple Someone's times got to a uh he liked when this is my hell <laughs> <laughs> but see it, it's different when it's someone else's dad because then it's cool but yeah if my yeah. dad was doing these things i'd be very upset if randy was out I'd here on twitter much like you if randy was out here on twitter liking frank's jokes i'd be like dad go home no i think i, I think that tom appreciates your content uh that that tracks for me. Wait, your dad's Tom? Yeah, Tom Wilbur. Wait, then who's Robert Wilbur? Oh my god, no, 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 no. He's oh. a bad person. What oh, is no. happening here? Is Rob Wilbur your evil twin? <laughs> oh no, he's a he's a man that steals babies and sells them on ships. Like, do not accept those retweets. Are you for real? Yeah, I'm telling you about a man that steals babies and puts them onto ships. Come on, man. <laughs> Get your fucking shit together <laughs> no my dad actively likes your stuff i don't know who rob wilbur is he oh. seems bad oh, oh but he you sincerely bad. don't know who robert wilbur is no, no no no, you follow him too so that's why i followed him i was like this must be one of the, one of the wilbers <laughs> oh my god what what's happening i don't know this okay. is this is great looking audio. into this it is, this is great audio. okay we'll, we'll circle back to this this show has now become a twitter Let's investigative podcast <laughs> Mm-hmm. We yeah, gotta, I'm already I'm already scoping it out. We're chasing the Wilbers. That's the new show. The new chasing show is called Wilbur. Chasing this, Wilbur. This 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 account uh, appears to just exist to retweet other people's content so much. Yeah, I was really Who hoping you would just man? say Brock's what does content. What he believe? Anyway, no. so so anyway, Rob Blackbeard's <laughs> ghost, real pirate, real pirate Blackbeard, which uh, 1968 film from Disney. Film from Disney. No, let's reboot Rob Wilbur. <laughs> Let's figure out who yeah. he is and fix him. We'll put him. him in Blackbeard's Ghost. Okay. Uh, Blackbeard's Ghost stars Peter Ustinov, the voice of Prince John in the animal in the furry Robin Hood from 1973. Fun the fact. The hot one. Yes. The hot one, I've been told. Yeah, yeah. You, what do you Get mean you've been told? for Robin Hood. <laughs> you saw it, She's right. right. <laughs> yeah, I don't find Fox Robin Hood to be, like, hot. Per se. Little John Robin Hood walking through the forest. Get Woo! horny on Maine for the Robin Hood fox. <laughs> Whoa, Brock, my, you gotta stop. My wife was very surprised <laughs> to, to learn that the hamster dance is just that Robin Hood song sped up. Exactly. Okay, so this movie is about a, a man named Steve Walker, who is a tr- the new track and field coach for the tiny sea coastal town uh, Good Dolphin. And a good dolphin to you, sir. Let's stop there. Let's stop there. Yeah. <laughs> and a good dolphin to you. The the head of track and field is named Walker. Steve Walker. Shit. <laughs> Fuck Steve, off. Steve Walker. No way. Yes. In no they, way. <laughs> unacceptable. They should have Fuck immediately off into space. rejected him. No. 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 <laughs> but also, here's the thing. They don't. So apparently, this team has a history of failed track coaches. Yeah. And they don't ever delve into right. what's going on. So they mentioned a few times like, that they the, all murdered? the previous coaches have like cracked up and disappeared. And they make it seem like, like... Like it's a curse. Because you're going into this movie knowing it's called Blackbeard's Ghost, you're like, oh, Blackbeard's sure. Ghost must be getting him. But here's the thing. Blackbeard's Ghost has not been here and present until Steve Walker shows up and accidentally, uh, like, summons him. He wins... So he shows up he, at the Blackbeard Inn, which is, like, a historical... <laughs> a historical inn okay. built you, out of you're shipwrecks. This stuff now. That was the mo- moment... Reb, tell me that this is wrong. <laughs> this is it. 
This is correct. Rebecca so can confirm. Blackbeard's in in the movie Blackbeard's Ghost. Yeah. Yeah. Blackbeard's yeah. in in the movie Blackbeard's Ghost, and it is built from ship different shipwrecks, and Steve Walker. <laughs> Uh, so there's these women there called the Daughters of the Buccaneers. They're all these old ladies who are descendants of pirates, and they're trying to say, preserve the inn as a historical landmark. While but the local is, mob, this local is mob, mob owns mean it. that you're trying to tell me that this is real. so. There's I like know there's that's there's, not. there's yeah, <laughs> there's pirate crones in this movie. They're they're just nice old ladies. Okay, they're Daughters. not like the Hercules fates. One of no, them does honestly, pretend to be a fortune teller and keep kept calling the main character Ishmael, and the movie had not yet introduced no. him as Steve Walker, and so we were like, is is his name Ishmael? Or is like, she just honestly, doing a thing? No wonder the inn is failing. She's Did he say, call me Steve? She is like terrible. Kind of a... She's terrible at customers. That's true. Um, so the, he so arrives It's a very at... Mother Tenenbaum, Suspiria sort of vibe to it. Cool. cool, cool. <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> So Coach Steve arrives as they're After, like he's been driving since five five in the morning. And it is like eight p.m. At this he just place. wants to go to bed. <laughs> he just wants to go to bed so bad. But they're in the middle of a fucking <laughs> fundraiser to raise money for this for this inn so that they can pay off the owner uh, or the the bank. Otherwise, the <laughs> the inn is going to be taken over by local crime boss Silky Seymour, mm. who wants to build a casino. So, yeah, and so there's bad guys, and they are ethnic. You don't know which ethnicity. Yeah, but it, it's 1968. They, they look different enough that I know I shouldn't trust them. So uh, Steve meets Rebecca. Um, come on, Steve, <laughs> Steve meets um, uh, another college professor, um, Joanne Baker, who I think is like the psychology professor. Um, and Let's she's all agree like the that child college psychology. doesn't exist in this universe. <laughs> yeah, she's she happens to be standing next to a kissing booth, and he just walks right up and like plants you, one on. No, yeah, fucking, it's no, it's a bit sixties, no, no, no. and she slaps him, and then he pays money for it, and then they hold an auction to sell some things off. And the whole time he's like chasing this old lady around, like, please just give me my goddamn room. I want to go to bed, and she like won't give him his room. So then the auction starts and the psychology professor, uh, they, they, they start the bidding and they don't start an opening bid. So one guy bids like a dollar and then the psychology professor goes, oh, this, that guy over there just said he'd bid $20 because uh, she tricks him into waving at her. So she throws him under the bus as he deserves. He ends up it's buying. It's so funny that you're talking about like nine different movies. No, it's I thought insane. you were going to talk about one movie, but you're just doing nine, and it's so funny. To me. <laughs> like literally, what a recounting, wacky twist. Recounting this movie to you now, I am like, man, this seems like so it should have been have, the world's longest movie. Now you we understand. Have, we have a track coach in a history of failed track meets staying at an inn that is going to be taken over and made into a casino, but now there's uh, now there's an auction. Yeah, so he ends up winning a bed warmer for two hundred dollars, uh, and fifteen hundred dollars in twenty twenty money. That's yeah, terrible. Yeah. The Continue. equivalent of about fifteen hundred dollars today. He buys it out of spite, so he he keeps bidding on it because it, he wants to impress the psychology professor. And then who's Silky dating C- the football coach? And the football coach is like so far up his own ass. Like, no, yeah. this college is a football college. Yeah, they hate each other. Um, and he ends up he ends up winning the thing out of the auction out of spite because Silky Seymour walks up to him and he's like. Hey, you shouldn't keep bidding on this. And he goes, "Okay." And then he bids two hundred dollars on it just to fuck with Silky. Um, so then he finally gets his room, and he accidentally sits on his bed warmer, and he breaks the handle off, and he finds inside oh a book God. of spells from Blackbeard's tenth and final wife, who uh, wrote a curse that forces Blackbeard to be in limbo. Steve, of course, reads it out loud, and Blackbeard shows up. Because you know, shows up, like you do, you does. find an old spell book, and what's the first thing you do? You read, read everything out, out loud. loud. Uh, Blackbeard shows up and hassles him for a bit, and then he finds out that he <laughs> cannot he cannot be rid of Blackbeard. Um, he tries to drive to a motel, and Blackbeard shows up in the back of his car. And this is where we learn that Blackbeard can interact with things, but only Steve can see him. So Blackbeard it, I drives have been his trying car to around. suss out the science of this movie. So it's like over the last things are floating, hours. but Steve can see Blackbeard. Right. And here's yeah. the thing about okay. Steve is he's also the idiot who insists on shouting at the invisible person 
while other people around, even though he 100% knows that no one else can see the invisible person. I've never understood why people do this. Like, you know you're the only person that can see it. Why are you talking directly to it in front of other people? Right. It's dumb. So then they turn out that they they figure out that uh, the curse is that Blackbeard has to stay in limbo until he does something good. Um, and so then he convinces Blackbeard to give his, he, he suggests that Blackbeard give his treasure to the little wait. old ladies to save their inn. Uh, wait, wait, what, what's it? What's it, what's it? He was in limbo until Steve freed him. He's still in limbo. What could he possibly have done good trapped inside of the bed warmer? Well, I think it's implied that he could, like, this is, this is part of the curse. Like someone will eventually summon him. I don't know. It does. It's weird. You're asking. Like, not, you're not giving him a shot. You're like asking I said, the I have been trying to suss out the language, the the science of this movie, and uh, can't do it. This, but so he. This is we we reveal that Blackbeard has no buried treasure, and that he lied about it. And everyone for the past two hundred years has just been searching for nothing. And this is when we it, they reveal that Blackbeard's actually just like a complete mess. Blackbeard is a messy bitch, and that is the only way you can describe him he starts just (laughs) sobbing he loses it he is basically like he's essentially playing messy bitch prince john if he was a pirate and a little bit less of a baby man blackbeard is a real housewife it is incredible um so then because he has no real treasure blackbeard ends up stealing the 900 dollars that was won in the that they that they got from the auction and he Wait, nine hundred. He paid fifteen hundred. No, no, no. Fifteen hundred current day money. Twenty twenty dollars. Two hundred dollars. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, and he, through means I don't need, to, I'm not going to go into. He ends up placing a bet on the track and field team to win in the upcoming relay. Which, if you recall, the track they're team very bad is terrible. They're very bad. They're, they're very, very, very bad. bad. So now we're playing bad news bears. Yeah. And he, the slowest guy ever, is the captain of the track team. Um, and also, all these college boys are played by what look to be 40-year-old men. Mm-hmm. Because it was 1968. So then they do the track meet. And uh, Silky Seymour gives them 50 to 1 odds because he thinks it's funny. Um, <laughs> and then Blackbeard sets about tripping up the other team and doing things like on the high jump, he throws throws the godolphin boys really high so that they jump really good just a lot of hijinks <laughs> a lot of hijinks they like throw a javelin and it's very funny because he just takes the javelin out of the guy's hand and then runs with it and it you can see blackbeard so <laughs> and, it's then like a, and, and then, then he, he throws it he runs with it and then runs with he it. throws and it and then in midair it rears back and goes even faster it's bonkers <laughs> it's, and here's the thing is the whole time coach steve is shouting at blackbeard to stop it because he's very mad that blackbeard is turning him into a cheater He's got his principles. Um, (laughs) He's so angry about it. And then he finally convinces Blackbeard to stop. And then suddenly it looks like Godolphin's going to lose. And he realizes, oh, no, all the old ladies are going to lose their they're not going to get this money. So then he gets Blackbeard to help. Like he started coaching and then forgot there was even another reason he was doing this. Oh, yeah. (laughs) yeah, Because the team, the team, he did not do a good job with the team. It's been weeks at this point, they say. Like he's been coaching them for weeks (laughs) and they're still bad. So then Godolphin wins, and then the mob boss just says, no. No. They say, give us our money, and he just says, nope. No. Right, because illegal betting. Right. So then- You can just say, what are you going to do? So then <laughs> like, the, <laughs> Steve and Blackbeard go to the casino and demand the money. They take the college professor, uh, the, the psych professor, Joanne Baker, with them. And the mob boss is like, look, just take your $900 back and just go play it on the on the floor and win it. And they're like, sure. Yeah, they make yeah. your they money earnestly sure. or because something. Because Blackbeard like winks at him and they're like, okay, because they're going to. So then they go play roulette. Blackbeard rigs the roulette for them by like bouncing the ball around onto the correct number. Mo- moving the chips around. Um, and then the best scene ever happens where they bring in the muscle because, of course, you can't have the guy actually win all his money. Blackbeard takes all of their guns without them noticing somehow. And they all go to pull out their guns. And then they instead just have finger guns because oh my God. that's what you would do if you tried to pull out a gun and thought you had a and gun. And not but go, didn't. where is my gun? You would gun? go, well, I don't want to be embarrassed, so I'll just make my finger well, so guns. Then Everyone they all else look, will shoot their guns. So then they all look confused oh. by it. <laughs> they all look confused <laughs> by it. And then Steve pulls out his own finger guns. 
and he starts pretending to shoot them while Blackbeard pistol whips them with his own <laughs> hidden pirate pistol. It's very good. Like, if do you remember that scene from The Losers, that action comedy movie, The Losers, starring Jeffrey Dean Morgan and Chris Evans? No. No, <laughs> no one does. No. Oh my no, god. So what? Okay, well, there's a scene. Fuck you guys. There's a scene where he does this exact same thing. He's got his finger guns out and he's like threatening to shoot these guys and he goes but you and what like one of the guys does get shot with a bullet because there's a sniper in another building and it's good times what's a jeffrey dean morgan what Reboot is a jeffrey dean morgan <laughs> Um, there's like a great part where so the the guys eventually overpower Steve and they shout get his guns even though he's just got finger guns, and then it's very funny. and then he tells he shouts to Joanne Baker the psych professor shoot them and then she does finger guns at them instead of just like shoot <laughs> exactly instead of just asking Blackbeard to like help him the fuck out like Blackbeard is invested in this in this charade. And then there's a oh, point where she bitch. she like points the, her finger guns in Steve's direction. And he says, don't point that over here. It's all very goofy. It's it's cute. So then they get the money and then they show up on outside the, the None inn. None of this sounds cute. What a weird moment to be like, this sounds cute. Like, this yeah. is a cute thing. It's like, none super of this funny. Should exist. Uh... So then they get the money. To, <laughs> so then they get the money delivered to the bank at right the last minute. And then Steve does what he should have done all along. And he gets everyone to repeat the curse magic phrases with him. So then they all can see Blackbeard. And he's like, hey, it was me. And then Blackbeard goes and rows off his rows his rowboat into the ocean. And then oh, his pirate crew appears on their own ghost pirate ship. And then the movie ends. So presumably we've brought the rest of the... the pi- well, yeah, we brought all the pirates back to pillage the world their man (laughs) right i was really really hoping that you were going to say now that they can all see blackbeard he just becomes part of the town and like they he like gets a house well no he really wants to go to to go to pirate heaven like he's so sick of this but pirate (laughs) heaven is probably normal people hell though that's only if pirates get to run it yeah um so that's the movie (laughs) That's a the... and a a then twenty five year old Roger Ebert working for the Chicago Sun Times gave the film three out of four stars. Yes, he said. What did he say? It was the best movie since Absent Minded it Professor. It is Disney's best film since the Absent Minded Professor, uh, which was five or six years before, and a cool, splendid cool, cool vehicle bar. for the talent. Cool. Yeah, the Peter original Ostenow. Flubber. You know the original Flubber, the best movie at the time. Uh. <laughs> So, okay, let's get into our first I think segment. we can all agree that Flubber is the cinematic standard <laughs> by which we judge all other films. Shrubber, Flubber so, was the original Shrek, is what I'm getting So at. does anyone have any <laughs> questions about Blackbeard's Ghost as we have retold it to Before you? Before we get into our first Oh, I'm segment. mad. This sucks. <laughs> oh, bro. Does it? Does, see, when you I'm angry it, at every word you said. See, Rebecca, <laughs> now you understand the position that I've been in for the past few months. Because there's no way to describe yep. this movie that makes it sound good, but it's so when, good. Yeah, when you watch it, are all these super wildly differently genre plot lines? Like, do they gel at all? They just, like, breeze through them real it just, fast. Yeah, you just kind of breeze right on through it. Like, and you go from, like, you go, you go from, like... Bad, bad news bears. <laughs> I'm so crack. sorry. <laughs> like I, 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 I recently made the basement in our new place into a podcast studio, and I, I've I've gone out of my way to make sure that none of my cats get down here. One cat got down here at the start of us recording. I was like, you know, what could he possibly do? Uh, it's been 30 minutes. He killed a mouse somewhere. Holy <laughs> shit! He keeps he keeps bringing the mouse. And throwing it at me, no! not like just like setting it at my feet, like <laughs> grabbing it in his mouth and then just like throwing it at my feet. And then I kick it away and then he grabs the mouse, runs around the room, brings it back and Pa-pa! just throws it at me. I'm com- I am. I'm being bombarded with dead road. Acknowledge me. Pa-pa! Now it's time to play. I've, I've heard that the latest psychology, you know quote unquote psychology on this is that cats aren't giving us gifts they think that we're incapable of hunting and trying to teach us R- right like, they're teaching us hey they're you teaching idiot us how look to at this. do this hey idiot look what i did it's not hard i got you this do not starve yeah yeah, yeah. 
What are you gonna do with that mouse? Yeah, do what, you need a second? What do you What do you think I want to do with that mouse? I just mean like What's right now. What's your answer? <laughs> Tell I mean, me your answer. <laughs> you're gonna want to get like a, a trash bag, probably. We yeah, uh, like do you wanna you wanna take care of your situation? Look at this good Don't boy. Don't send us a you, picture. Well, you of gotta it. do like you gotta do like a toddler tea party and like ah bah, this is a good mouse. Ah, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> the fact bro, no, no, you I don't like have to do that. That's bad. You're telling him to pant- me. T- pantomime enjoying consuming that mouse for his cat's benefit. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, other, otherwise, you're going to have hurt feelings. You want him to cookie every monster time, that thing? <laughs> every yeah. time we eat dinner before we feed our dog, we quote that John Mulaney bit of, the king <laughs> eats first. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so are you going to take care of that mouse right now? or We're just going to power through? I'm fine either way. I just need to know. Uh, I, yeah. Mm-hmm. No, no, no. I'm here. Cool. I'm just letting you know the Blackbeard's ghost has been met. Uh, in <laughs> inconsistency by the existence of mice. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so, yeah, this movie is... Um, I expected... I hadn't seen this movie, full disclosure, since I was probably, like, eight years old. Maybe maybe, maybe ten. And so I was expecting to watch this and be like, oh, of course, this is really old. This really drags. It's not fun to watch. Sure. But I, I had such a good time. But it, it is, was a blast. It is impossible to describe this movie well. Like you, it is. I can tell. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, so let's let's get into segment one called "Love It or Leave It." Love me or leave me or let me be lonely. Where we talk about what's what we're gonna keep and what we're gonna get rid of for our reboot. Um, yeah, Brock. I imagine you've got some thoughts on what you'd like to stay or just to completely obliterate. Here's what I would like to get rid of. Um, the prompt the mice, for this probably, episode. Right? Yeah, just the whole thing. Uh, the <laughs> idea of what we're doing. Let's not do this. Let's do something different. Let's do Mars Attacks again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that we've ever... This could be an un, this could be a moment in Reboot Legger's history. We've never just completely pivoted to a new movie in the middle of a reboot. <laughs> we no. sometimes kind of have. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I've listened enough to know that you have. <laughs> well, you all know my podcast better than me. So, so uh, Joanne, the 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 professor, mm-hmm. Joanne Baker, is is played by Suzanne Plachette. Looks like only Jackie a few O. Years earlier, what starred in the Birds. Oh, she's a bird she, lady. She she screamed and got murdered by birds. And now she did a children's comedy. She was basically. Oh, she's not the tippy. She's not tippy. She's not tippy. She was. Hedrick. She. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I was sorry. She was the other. She was Annie. She is. Um. She. She's made to look more or less like Jackie O. Um. She's mm-hmm. got. She's got. At the time, probably a good call. Yeah, 1968. Was Kennedy Her makeup dead was yet? Fabulous. Was this the year? Eleven twenty two sixty three, my dude. Oh right, 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 right. right. <laughs> it had been for quite a while. Yeah. Yeah. I could, I think my wife's laughing at me from down the hall because good. of that question I just asked. Good. Um, it's good. It's good. That's what the show should be. Yeah. Yeah. Now she's texting me, confirming that the laughs are directed at me, and I should feel <laughs> yeah. bad. Okay. It's good that you let the audience know. Yeah, just letting everyone know the the shame that I'm getting from all fronts. So, Brock, you're not interested in pirate ghosts helping a track and field team win the old track meet, huh? What if we had him Here's help? The thing. What's a modern day equivalent of track and field? Probably, Debate. Probably some oh track, and, track and field. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I think I need... Um, can he help a group of ragtag theater kids? <laughs> For context, the track and field meet is treated like the event of the fucking year. Like, the stands are packed. Everyone is just going, like, they're horny for it. Which I personally think is the most unbelievable thing about this movie, that anyone would get that jazzed over track and field. Um, but... Here's my reboot, is that uh, Jefferson Davis, the ghost of the president <laughs> of the Confederacy... Uh, <laughs> An objectively teach, bad person. Uh, some inner city kids, uh, how to do uh, forensics. Uh, <laughs> forensics. Uh, long, long form, original oration, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. A little debate, but not enough debate to make it make sense that he would be a politician. Just uh, real dramatic interpretation shit. 
So he's helping. We... He's showing up. It's CS, CSI uh, Antebellum. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. It's Jefferson Davis and uh, all his favorite uh, uh, black and Hispanic uh, children. Like that's that's where we start. <laughs> we have to have to have to keep the ghost as a messy bitch. Yeah. It was the best part of the movie. Like this was 1968. How messy is this bitch? <laughs> this was so Rebecca, if yeah, what's us... a modern day like who would you Are compare we talking him to like today? A Britney meltdown because or... this was 1968, they couldn't just overtly say like Blackbeard is queer, but like if this was made today, like he's absolutely like he is like the queerest. It's amazing like how Like you know Titus from Kimmy Schmidt? Yes, Titus from Kimmy Schmidt levels of messy. He is okay. that messy bitch. So, yeah, he's that. Just offended at everything. When he tries to help, he's Put a out diva by about things. it. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he, gets mad when, when, he gets mad when you tell him to stop helping when he's making right. it worse. Uh, very loud, very flamboyant. Just he is, he, he is not at all his the way or the highway. There's a part where, you know, he talks about his 10th wife who cursed him. Uh, and Steve Walker is like, because you had her killed. And he says, no, I didn't. Well, okay, maybe some of them, but never out of spite. Only ever, you know, to like improve my crew's mood. You know, I'd like have them walk the plank or like only ever as a goof did I kill my wives, basically, says this guy. <laughs> mm-hmm. It was a, it was a goof it was uh, just for a the goof. morale of, of, of the office. Look, you know, man. I, I, I get that. That, that tracks. <laughs> I mean, when... We're we're in a similar thing. Everyone's getting cabin fever, staying at home. You got to do what you got to do to kind of get people back on board with the with the with the mission of crime. And you you haven't said anything yet that's been um good. Why 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 did <laughs> you choose that? A pi- excuse <laughs> me, a pirate who is as sassy as uh, Titus from Kimmy Schmidt. That's not good. No no. No, because I I understand the context of uh, where it exists, and it sounds bad. It sounds mm-hmm. bad. Oh, oh shit! I okay. I have a second dead mouse. A okay, second dead mouse. This How? Is, wow! You the podcast studio was not going like I thought it would go. You should, oh no! <laughs> you should have let them down there sooner to just kind of do a preemptive sweep. <laughs> Does, yeah, <laughs> they're coming in is, here. Yeah, we uh, we found a whole nest of them. This is gonna. I'm gonna have to increase that. This, I'm not gonna be able to do this with the estimate I originally quoted you. So here's the reboot. Uh, instead of a ghost pirate, it is a series of ghost mice <laughs> that are furious with me for allowing a cat into my podcast studio. Uh, and and on top of this, this cat won't kill a bug. It just won't like it bats at bugs, but it's like, eh, cool, hello, mm. friend. But somehow, mice is where it's at. Uh, it's just uh, the Slayer. Uh, and this, this is slayer. Sudden, stop 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 <laughs> we oh my don't God. go in there is there a third mouse please tell me a third mouse just showed up third mouse third mouse have you checked their eyes are For, they blind oh the mice <laughs> let's let's I, I agree with rebecca i want to keep messy bitch pirate and i think we can get rid of everything else because i think that's what's going to move us into our next segment the quickest and that segment is called when and where And that's when we talk about setting and genre. So, what? Where are we in this messy pirate movie? Now that the mall in the nineties, like an episode of Buffy. Yes, please. <laughs> I want to make it like go, an episode of like a Real clueless. Housewives. I want to make it yeah. like a Real Housewives type deal. Real House. Did Buffy why ever do we, a Real Housewives? Why don't we uh, 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 compromise this and make it more like Cribs? Cribs. Was Real Cribs. Housewives so, a reality show or a regular show? I'm I don't Real remember. Housewives is, is a, still currently a wow. reality show. And this yeah. is okay. This is just when it they wasn't show a rich white ladies show, being though. terrible. It was as just, as someone that works on it, it's a good reality show. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and so it's oh. Frank. To your point, what Frank said, it's not a it's not a competition, it's not a competition reality show. show. It's just look at these women doing things. Yeah, and the best part of it is that uh, it is filmed in about a week, uh, and then it is edited to make it seem like it uh, took place over months. Uh, really? That's how messy those bitches are. That's, the whole uh, the whole season. That's a little is behind in a week? the scenes. 
Yeah. Wow. Well, you got fl- you got flashbacks, flash forwards, cuts for commercials. Yeah. Various promos. Do they f- they do flashbacks in reality TV? Guys, I am not I current know. on the state of TV. My dude, what are you doing? <laughs> I mean, I'm watching Blackbeard's ghost, apparently. Rebecca, fix this. <laughs> I'm sorry. There's only so much I can do. Get Look, some married at first sight in this motherfucker. <laughs> here's the thing. Tom Nook's not going to pay off himself, and I need to... <laughs> I'm on the hook for 500,000 bells. I'm on the hook the for hook a two for and a half hook. million dollar basement right now. Like I gotta be, I gotta be bringing those bells in. You gotta be charging. Scott has turned his basement into a rave. He's gotta start charging a cover charge. It's true. I should. <laughs> anyway, um, so the mod, it's a modern day. Did, did, <laughs> did, did Buffy ever do a real housewife episode? Brock, you're no. going to be mad. Mm. You're going to be mad at me, but I, I never watched Buffy. Yeah, yeah. Scott, Scott, Scott refuses. Uh, Brock, I had a weird childhood. Hey, Scott. Yeah. You're okay. Okay. <laughs> no no one would ever be mad at you. You're a good guy. Well, you're a, say that you're to my co-hosts. Right. Say that to my co-hosts. No, no, I won't, because they're right to be mad at you, because that fucking sucks. <laughs> what a fucking dumb, idiot fucking choice you've made here. But here's you the, as a person, here's the you're other good. Thing. I like you. It's fine. I've, Brock I've is tried. a new host of the show. I've tried. I've, I've tried to watch Buffy. I've tried to watch it, and I don't, I don't think I can, because I didn't watch it when it was relevant. I watched it when it wasn't relevant. I don't think anyone watched it. Well, yeah, no one watched it. No one what, watched what the show when doing? it was relevant. Why are you making it reading. worse? What are you doing? <laughs> I've been <laughs> Get your life together. Get your re- shit together. The reboot Lager is is you now. We are rebooting you <laughs> as a person who can enjoy good art. My oh. god. <laughs> what what if what if this is What if this okay, is multiple on. people trying to be Blackbeard's ghost? Like, or we so have... Blackbeard's a pretty prominent oh, figure, collective. right? Okay, I like that. Okay, what about this? What about this? What about this? Scott has died. <laughs> his okay. soul trapped yeah. limbo we create a podcast and we accidentally summon him back right uh right on. and uh scott <laughs> messy bitch podcaster pirate that he is causes all <laughs> kinds of wacky hijinks but he can only pass on to the other side once we get him caught up on pop culture i i enjoy the concept of scott the bitch pirate uh that that <laughs> okay. really Messy bitch Scott as as a pirate uh, who doesn't understand how Netflix works, but you have to show him how Netflix works, and then you can allow him to see Buffy because he apparently wouldn't choose that for himself. Like this is actually better for Scott. So am I from uh, than am what I, Scott is currently existing as? Am I from pirate times, or I'm I'm from the modern day, but still don't know how Netflix works? Oh, baby, you're pirate in content. <laughs> You wouldn't steal oh, a car, but shit. you would pirate I'm a, films. I'm, a, I'm, yes. a, I'm an internet pirate. Yes. <laughs> Do you think that counts for pirate heaven or and or pirate hell? Rebecca oh, God, certainly I hope hopes it does. so. Fuck Do you think I, you like, know what, John Malkovich guys? as Blackbeard's ghost welcomes you to like a place where there's just no computers? But why would it be John? Malkovich? Maybe when I get there, it's just going to be me and everyone else who had LimeWire. We're just going to get there. Gang, if there is a pirate heaven, do you know on how many fronts I am covered? Uh, because I would <laughs> indeed download a car, and your girl dresses up like this for Ren Fairs all the ding dang time. Do you? Do you actively pirate at Ren Fairs though? Because there's a difference between cosplaying and the the real piracy. Actively pirate. I mean, dude. do you commit the crimes? Do you the crimes? If crimes are paying for only you probably only should, for we're things, on the record right now. Only paying for things with Sacagawea dollars on and only drinking rum. Do you call them doubloons and like throw them at the bartenders? No, we slap them down on the table. I feel and like slide yeah, it calling them doubloons is already kind of throwing them at whoever you're talking. to. Do you call to. them doubloons at least? I could or, start. I'm just saying, it seems like that that particular field of your life you're gonna need to step it I up. I call if a you lot of get... ladies wenches. Oh, that'll do it. Do you say where my wench is at? No. no. Okay. okay. I guess that's. I guess that's gonna be on the poster. Where my wench is at? Where my for, wench for is at? Pirate me. So I think yeah. I think this means Rebecca, you're gonna have to take the helm on this one because I'm certainly not rebooting myself. No, 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 
no, no, no. We got it. We're going to reboot you. I'm just a consultant. No, I'm fine with rebooting me. I'm just saying I can't be in charge of that. Like, and, just and now, and now, I'm just going to really quickly. You, Scott, you earlier questioned when I referenced John Malkovich. There was an early two th- 2010s show on NBC called Crossbones, and he was in a which John Malkovich played an, an, a kind of an aged Blackbeard. The Blackbeard. I think Peter Ustinov should be our Blackbeard. We could <laughs> Brock now last o- other famous Blackbeards include Hugh Jackman and Ian McShane. Oh, I do love Hugh Ian Jackman. McShane. Oh, McShane. Counts. Hugh Jackman barely counts as Blackbeard. When was he Blackbeard in what? It was in that the Pan, Pan movie. movie. Oh no, he he was Captain Hook. I thought no, he was Blackbeard. He was Blackbeard. Uh, here's the thing. Oh, that one. I didn't see that one because it looked. No wait, nobody I did. did. No, I did see that one. That was the one where they did Smash Mouth, wasn't it? No, this came out you like a couple stop years ago. Doing this. No, 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 no. I saw <laughs> being this. No, 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 no. no. Stop they being didn't what do you Smash are. Mouth. They did um. <laughs> They did fuck no the pirates played 90 songs. I did see this movie. Bro, Hugh Jack- honestly. No, 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 no. Hugh I'm Jackman's picturing- <laughs> entrance is Blitzkrieg Bop. I'm pretty sure, but it's all the Brock, pirates singing. Wow, well, uh, you are Brock, correct. Performed sang- by Hugh Jackman and cast. Blitzkrieg yeah. Bop. You saying we've got to we can't do this anymore. We've got to stop this. I imagine you're talking to your cats about the mice. No, he's talking about me talking about Hugh he's Jackman. Talking to, oh, he's yeah, talking about us. I know. I like to have fun. Brock left. I think there's another mouse situation. Oh, well. We'll just, we'll, we'll hang on. We'll put a pin in it. Let me just, uh. Oh, he shared a video. Oh, a video? Brock Wilbur joined. Is there a, de- is there a development? <gasps> oh my God. Why would you share this video? Oh, this, this dog, this boy. I almost called him a dog. This like dog. D-A-W-G. <laughs> like my dog. This dog. Then I was oh like, my oh, he's God. A cat. Brock, how are you just okay with this? I mean, the cat, the mouse is dead. He done did it. Now it's under the couch. <laughs> um. So, the, uh, Ian McShane would be good. Um. Uh, I was gonna say. Um. So I was gonna say like we all these guys have played Blackbeard. What if we but got which Ian one McCallan? of them is the real Blackbeard in our reality show? Right. What if we got Ian McKellen, but his character in Cats, but as a pirate? Rebecca, you can't keep pulling him into all of our movies. We can't, Why we not? can't do cats anymore. We already did cats like twice. Fine. Um <laughs> so okay. It so now it's a movie about me learning pop culture. That's where that's our setting and genre. Who is the real Blackbeard's ghost? They're all locked in this house in Miami. Yep. With cameras. So it's not about me. <laughs> It never is. I'm not mad. For once. I'm not mad. <laughs> <laughs> do, do, do they still have the MTV Beach House? They don't, do they even still have MTV? Have, like, like, is it I can hear somebody typing looking Bama for Bama it, Shore. and that's the funniest part of it. <laughs> yeah, that's me. Frank's got one of those mechanical keyboards, so you always know. I do. Frank is always looking stuff up. Okay, let's... So it's clickety a, clickety clack. Is Jersey Shore real? <laughs> yes. Where is the MTV Beach House? Uh, see, nothing says whether or not it still exists. What about Florabama, or the new thing that Netflix does with the, with its reality shows, where everyone is isolated? Just you the mean, circle. The circle. So which one of those are we doing for Blackbeard? Is it a Big Brother situation where we put all the? So Frank, you're saying, what if we got all the previous actors who've played back Blackbeard? Mm-hmm. In a reality they, they, show. And they, they mm-hmm. could not break character. They were Blackbeard. We give this them all the clothes good. and props they need. I want, but they cannot leave this house. I want Blackbeard to be an actual ghost doing shenanigans, though. Okay, so then it's not a real reality show, but it's like a I spinal need, tap I thing. need messy bitch Blackbeard doing his thing. Here's the thing, though. They're all messy bitches. Oh. When was Ian McShane Blackbeard? Was that in uh, that star show about pirates? Ian McShane was um, uh, one of, in one of the Pirates movies in like a flashback or whatever. He was Blackbeard. Pirates what? of the Caribbean? Uh, here we go. Uh, in, in Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides, Ian McShane is Blackbeard, the film's main antagonist. What? Oh, so he's not just like a... Uh... Is that the newest one? It doesn't matter. We're no, not doing 2011. The f- Pirates 4. Who, why, who cares? Why are we here? I agree. I agree. Um, okay. Yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, we're, I, I I just want to. I just want. I just want a bunch of a bunch of famous Blackbeards. Just a bunch. So we can we'll cast them, but I don't think they should all be Blackbeard. Unless. Well, then what? Are, what do we got them? For? Is every <laughs> to to 
is every is Blackbeard a different actor, a different person in every scene? It's like, um, well, I, I wanted all the Blackbeards on the same screen. Yeah, I like the idea of all the Blackbeards in one room. Okay, okay, that's fine. I'm into it. Doing, we can get the guy from the Star Show. His name is Ray Stevenson. Are they all ghosts? Are all of them ghosts? They have to be. Blackbeards ghosts is plural. Yep. Blackbeards yeah, is ghosts. Blackbeards is ghosts. <laughs> Multiple blackbeards and their ghost ghost forms. Okay, let's get into our let's talk casting in who can it be? Who can it be now? Uh so you're just using all the same all the same dudes. This means we're gonna have to use our our unethical cg technology for peter ustinov because that boy died he did yeah we, we we are going to use have to use uh prince magic brock last week we rebooted gone with the wind and instead of pushing the envelope with the first ever movie swear we pushed the envelope with what if we cast a dead person for an entire movie instead of just a cameo because they died in filming okay good so that's and now so that movie's gonna be the best movie ever in like 200 years uh because that's how it works you make a movie about an abusive rapist but you put a swear in it and then that's that it's all good film film assholes forever think it's the best movie ever that's why i love uh louis ck in the movie dang it (laughs) 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 you heard it here first Uh, um what other characters are in this movie besides four blackbeards uh where are the sprouses going where are those two sprouses going they are um aren't though aren't there those like uh oh i'm thinking of alice in wonderland hold on tweedledee and tweedledum were you gonna say tweedledee and tweedledum yeah but aren't there like versions of those in peter pan in 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 pirates there's i'm googling blackbeard's assistance yep that'll do it so oh but maybe (laughs) maybe they're like maybe here's the thing what if what if they're the modern day descendants of a blackbeard of the real blackbeard and blackbeard's ghost might manifest in any of them <laughs> so so now so now kill dylan and how do you say their names uh Cole and dylan <laughs> Cole and dylan <laughs> i said killing and dull uh oh my god so you tell me that they are also blackbeards in this they're gonna sometimes be messy bitches yeah why not Brock, do you still have their number? What if Would they be down the for this? course of the film, Blackbeard's ghost like uh, 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 visits upon each of the descendants at various times? How many descendants are I, there? I think we got to upgrade this. It's got to be Blackbeard's ghosting. Uh, it's about a <laughs> woman that had a date with him, and he just will not show up for this. <laughs> oh boy! Oh, do you want like a waiting for Godot? It's about the waiting kind of thing. It's a, yeah. It's 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 a ghosting waiting for Godot featuring Blackbeard the pirate. Okay. <laughs> so we see her like like she's at the restaurant. She orders a second drink, checks her phone. Is it a seance? Is she doing a seance and Blackbeard's just not showing up? Yes, that's uh, very who's, good. Kind of who's like gonna that. pay the doubloons for this? I don't know. <laughs> I'm very upset. Uh, I'm gonna swipe left on doubloons. <laughs> I got your message in the bottle, but uh... Ooh. and the poster says swipe right for adventure. All right, we got it. Wait, so now it's Tinder? <laughs> <laughs> swipe right for adventure. Swipe right for adventure. So that a was, woman. Well, oh, we need okay, to okay, 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 think of a good, good pirate pun on on tinder to, to, to for the tinder name. timber timber with Tind- a b timber with a b shiver me tinders oh, that's shiver me tinder shiver timber me. with a b or that's shiver yeah. or shiver timber. me tinder with a d no, and then when i really one, like timber yeah. in in place timber. of tinder Tin, timber you're you're bad people <laughs> but the yeah, pun like if it's gonna be a pun it should be shiver me tinder because tinder is the thing that they're using and shiver me timbers Ain't is no millennial gonna go out of their way to say hey have you pulled up your app shiver me timber oh i thought right, we were just talking yeah. about the movie's tagline i'm sorry i didn't know we were renaming oh, no, no, no. the movie's tagline is swipe right for adventure we've right. already <laughs> decided that <laughs> i'm surrounded by dead mice <laughs> how many is there a third is there a third <laughs> First off, you can tell you, gotta do you can something tell about these this. these mice have been living comfortably for quite a while that they are so they easily have. being killed. Either that or they've all got the toxoplasmosis and they're just offering themselves up to their cat overlord gods. <laughs> shiver, shiver me tinders. Let's Shiv- run with it. Shiver me tinders. Okay. Uh. So so Blackbeard 
<laughs> this is a woman who who Blackbeard decides he wants to start dating. We need to just we need to get out of casting if we're just going straight into the plot. This is the last segment. We're jumping all around. I don't I don't even give a fuck. Just put the stinger here, future Scott. <laughs> In what fucking world did you have a structure for this episode? Because we left it behind. I think it was the, the world before before you started being bombarded by dead rodents in the middle of the episode. Yeah, for real. If anything, this is your fault, Brock. <laughs> you, you know what? Sure. I'll take that one. Or it's... Is this Woodward or Bernstein that's doing the murders? Oh, this is Bernstein. Uh, Bloodstein, uh, Bloodstein is what's happening out here. Hey guys, so I'm trying to get prepared for our uh, for the end of the show, uh-huh. and I did a Google search for You're Mountain already Dew looking Pirate. Up Mountain Dews. I Google searched Mountain Dew Pirate, and there's a man named George Dew who was a pirate, uh, privateer, and buccaneer. He was born in the out. year 1666 and died born in the year 1666. Yeah, drank the Dew. George Dew. Nothing anyway. nothing about this show at this point I think brings me greater happiness than how dedicated Rebecca is to the Mountain Dew segment. <laughs> what if what if we do I kind of what if we do a like waiting with Godot mixed with my dinner with Andre where the summoning <laughs> the summoning keeps bringing up other people and it's all that have awkward stories to tell about Blackbeard but none of them is Blackbeard. Oh like a podcast within a podcast. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So she's like somebody shows up and is like, like finally Blackbeard. He goes, no, I was just different was crew members. Teacher. Yeah, just telling stories about Blackbeard. About old Edward Teach. That was his real name. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So Mountain Dew is fine, but do you know the names of the monster energy drinks? No. no. Uh, are they pirate? Re- Rehab is one of them. So, <laughs> so I found out this week. Uh, this is the list of monster energy drinks because a friend keeps ordering them. Here they go. Monster energy. Ultra Sunshine, zero, zero Ultra, zero. Ultra Black, Ultra Blue, Ultra Fiesta, Ultra <laughs> Paradise, Ultra Red, simply Red, just the concept of Red, Ultra Rosa, Ultra Rosa, which is somehow the worst to me because it's like a rosé, but it is a Monster Energy drink, and then finally oh, Ultra Violet, which you can't see. I, I fucking I I lost my mind because every one of these names sounds like a, like a finishing move in an RPG or like it's an anime like <laughs> or like uh, a Monster re-release. Energy Ultra Rosa is an anime that I haven't seen yet on Crunchyroll <laughs> but I should like there's no way out of this <laughs> or it sounds like it sounds like each one is a different like re-release remaster of a video game that they that the studio keeps pumping out instead of making a new game they're like oh we're coming oh, out yeah, with yeah. Monster Ultra Final Rosa Final Fantasy Old Zero Ultra yeah. is yeah absolutely Skyrim, I paid a lot Skyrim of money. Ultra, Ultra Black, Black. It's Skyrim Ultra Black. They oh it's Mountain, Mountain Dew 365 divided by two slumbering dreams. <laughs> Frank and I went to college with a guy who would buy a pallet of Monster Energy drink and drink literally one a day, and he was very proud of that he drank one a day. He, he, he was a, he was a person who everything about him says I am proud of drinking Monster Energy drink. Yeah, mm-hmm. this is but what he cool was also man. like a weird like delightful person who everyone genuinely loved and he had no idea that he was ridiculous i i feel like that is the case of of all my friends that are big <laughs> into monster energy is like everyone likes you uh and you are trying to uh sprint to the finish line of death as quickly as possible <laughs> you're trying to do the speed run of life, of life. <laughs> in in such a way that uh, please don't. What's we up, all, guys? We Welcome like to my life like speed run. Today we're going to be drinking 13 Monster Energy Blues. Just don't forget to like and smash that Monster subscribe Energy button. Gonna try. Mountain. We're gonna try to see if that red, that Monster Energy Ultra Red cheat code is correct. <laughs> I'm gonna glitch through my twenties. <laughs> 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 Twenties glitch proven true, all caps. Um, so, who all is showing up to this dinner with Blackbeard Godot? <laughs> I love trying to pull it back to it's the so, thesis of the show that you've made. I just no one wants it's, to do. It's the more show for that you've my made. own brain. It's more for my own brain. I need to at least say that I tried. I'm fine with abandoning everything here. We've I just got his first mate. 
His first mate, Dylan and Cole Sprouse. Two boys. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, they're the cabin boys. Oh, God. Well, we also have the cabin boys. What do you mean, oh, God? That was a thing on the boat. Yeah, it was not sexual. It was was, a position. Are you sure? Haven't you seen Muppet Treasure Island? Uh, I'm not going to lie to you. No, I have not. (laughs) Oh, now I get to be angry. Now I get to be angry. You get to go. Now you get to watch Muppet Treasure Island, which is great. Sure, sure, sure. Brock, have you seen Muppet Treasure Island? Yes. Yes, because I'm a, I'm a person that lives and exists. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Rebecca. Yeah, no, that makes sense. I got my... You ever heard of the zeitgeist? I, I made my, I made my uh, nieces and nephews watch that movie with me one day, and my nephew was like, are they always going to be singing? And I was like, <laughs> I was like, bud, you're a Philistine. <laughs> You're a Philistine. And then you got to teach him what a Philistine was. Yeah. What type of thing? So does is Blackbeard going to show up at the end finally or never? I, I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry that I'm about to derail this one more time. Thank you. Yes. When <laughs> Muppet Treasure Island opened at the box office, it was third in place. It lost to number one, Broken Arrow, oh. and number two, Happy Gilmore. Yes. Happy Gilmore. What a year. I forgot about Happy You could Happy go to the Gilmore. movies and see Broken Arrow with John Travolta, Happy Gilmore, and Muppet Treasure Island on the same day. On the same day. That is... What what a day that would be. Now they're just putting the movies right out into my TV because uh, the movie theaters are dead. Is it's what, crazy times. It's crazy times. I'm thinking... Black. I mean, I, would, I just want Blackbeard to show up late and drunk and upset at everything and he's gonna i don't know do they have a nice dinner i i only here's the what thing. if they're no, not I feel, trying I feel like he makes it all about himself here's the thing, what my, if they're not trying to accomplish anything but really it's just one of those like a24 movies that oh just, that's uh, like really yes. makes you think it really makes yeah, you yeah. think it is just he, makes you think nothing gets accomplished is there's he a no ghost real like, resolution like people who don't what? get it are gonna hate the movie because like it's so cerebral it's not for everyone and then i'll hate them for is not getting it and yeah. i'm great Rebecca mm-hmm. made me watch Midsummer recently, and it made was good. You, you, you used this word "made." <laughs> she made you. Well, no. what are you doing? I mean, she wore me down because she won't stop talking about it. So I had to. I had to know mm-hmm. was what it was. She incepted yeah. me. I think is what happened. It was an inception. She wore you down into watching one of the best films of the last decade. Thank okay, bye. you. I've been. I've been traumatized in the past, and so it is something I am traumatized very by. Of. What? I was a very scared you know little that boy. scene in Willy Wonka with the boat when everything gets weird. Uh, I was a, I was sure. a very scared little boy, and that's boy. why Things... I can't watch Midsummer. I watched. <laughs> it was a good movie. Oh hey, um, <laughs> the, this episode of the show is gonna be as pointless and disjointed as the Blackbeard movie. <laughs> hey. that's, that's neat. Like we're kind of doing it. We're kind of doing it to you right now. Yeah, but I'm a little. Up. You 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 don't talk about Blackbeard that way because the movie is actually much more coherent than it sounds. That Rebecca, I'm glad you came here so that we could uh, combine to make the A24 of this podcast. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Uh... Finally, some okay. culture. The, so the, the heads will get it, but everyone else. Uh, yeah. <laughs> What's that one coming out with the cows? What? There's one, there's the, one about the, cows? The cows. The. Oh, it is. Hold on. I'll look it up. A24. What? Tell me. Um. So so let's just go through. I, I want a quick checklist Um. just from from those of you who know. What are the A20? What what A24 things need to be in this movie? Then? It's called First Cow, Frank. First cow, thank you. Is that about the president's cow? <laughs> That's another episode. That's another episode for another time. Are we? Is that starring? Is this Sinbad's comeback? So here's the thing that this movie needs: headpieces, lots and lots sure. of headpieces. Yes. Okay. What else? Some percentage of the movie you're unsure whether it was real or a dream. Can I tell uh-huh. you something? A weird soundtrack, yeah, yeah, yeah. an unsettling soundtrack. Can I tell you something that might might upset you? No, n- none of the soundtrack has notes. That's important. Uh Uh-huh. No notes. Are you guys in the correct headspace to receive information that could potentially hurt you? (laughs) Oof. Oh, the the A24 logo, yes. Midsummer's the only A24 movie I've seen. 
You have well, to oh my god. Let's what sit you down and watch Hereditary. Uh, I'm pretty sure uh, um isn't uh The Witch is on Netflix, I think. The Witch is that oh there? Is that I think so. I think it is. Hey, wait. I've seen John Why Mulaney in like the Sack this? Lunch bunch. Tusk? Ladybirds well, with Army Man? It's like A24 is also just like a distribution studio too, so there's like random shit. Ex Machina, did you see Ex Machina? Oh, I have seen Ex Machina. I love see, that movie. La Ladybird? I thought did you see did you did we talk about it? It's on my list. Oh. I still Ladybird is so good. I put a tweet into the chat that should sum this up nicely for you. Okay, my favorite genre of movie is when you get a twelve million dollar budget and a two point four million dollar house in an affluent town, and that's basically the whole movie. It's called House Core, and it pays the bills at eight twenty four. <laughs> All right, yeah, that check. Yeah, that's what Hereditary was filmed here in uh, Utah. It, the the fancy house that they live in is up in Park City, but the the rest it's weird because like the apartments are in downtown salt lake and i'm like really you're to, ex to expect me to believe that she's going from park city all the way to salt lake city i don't think so <laughs> it's real inside baseball there oh i yeah. saw i saw the swiss i saw swiss army man swiss army man very good okay the lobster <gasps> the lobster is I need also to see the very lobster. good I've heard it's great. Everything about okay, it sounds you know good. Let's hey, reboot hey, the lobster. Hey, let's let's hey, do the, sh the show again. <laughs> hey, Rebecca. At the end of the movie, Blackbeard shows up, but he's a lobster because he didn't get to fuck fast enough, and then he became a lobster. Hey, Rebecca, uh, did A24 spoilers. do Butt Boy? No, they did not. <gasps> kind of seems like they, they should not. They no. should have. No, Butt Boy is too weird for A24. Has Butt Boy been distributed digitally since the death of movie theaters? Because I really want to see it. it. It is digital. I can send you a link. I got it from their PR people. Oh, hook me up, dog. Uh oh. Yeah, my link expired. Uh, neat. Pays that friends Rev, in the biz. Rev, it, you and I should talk more, not these other chunks. I know. But you we're and part I of the, we're part of the, the biz. Page. We're in the biz. We are in the biz. Can I be in the biz, guys? No, hey, no, guys. you can't be in the biz. Hey guys, you, can you, I did, come? You, you haven't seen enough A twenty four movies. Guys, can Once I be you've in the seen biz enough, you? you automatically get. Are you guys mm -hmm. going to a biz thing? Can I come? No, you gotta watch a couple more A twenty four films, bud. How many? I'll do it. Like at least 24. seven. Or 24. That's better. Because A, 20. Yeah. I'll do it. A. Guys, I'll do it. I've already got three. This is the worst episode of the show you've ever done. It's incredible. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think you'd be surprised. Yeah. Um, you would be No, surprised. no, I've listened. I know. I'm just waiting. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I'm trying to. I'm trying my hardest here. Uh, well, that's not true. We're at the hour and ten minute mark. Yeah, we gotta like, wrap this up. Do you, do you hear the words that we're saying? We gotta Come wrap on. this up. Our listeners, um... We're in a weird time where, uh, we're not here to play. We're just here to catch up and chat. <laughs> You're welcome, listeners. I'm just gonna say what I think this movie is, and then that's gonna be... That's gonna be it. Is this is a movie where someone is trying to date Blackbeard, Ghost, and his different people from his life show up to tell the, to tell this person about blackbeard instead of him showing up mm -hmm. and and then he does show up and and he's a mess and he, yeah he's just not worth the time and then the movie kind of ends and it like does a real slow pan up to the sky to, mm -hmm. to, to and then he grease lightnings away in his in his in his pirate in boat his big pirate like like a like a galley. Oh, but here's but like here's this, the like but this he, very Lena Dunham version of this. <laughs> but here's the thing. This but is here's the, tiny the thing. Furniture of Blackbeard pirates. The restaurant was Blackbeard's ship the whole time, and you were you're up you're the Blackbeard now. You were you, he was ghost? you all along. Oh. Six cents. Six cents. You guys seen it? Yeah. Rebecca, yeah. Thank you for being here. See, I know movies. Yeah, I could, I could be. In yeah, the, I be in yeah. The I think the the twist at the end of that was that that guy in the movie was Bruce Willis the whole time. He was Bruce Willis the whole time. So so the movie takes place from the literal first. We do we do like a, a hardcore Harry thing, except instead of doing action movies, you're just sitting eating it's dinner. Just pirate. You tours. never. You, oh. It's just a we, first person we do perspective. Do a hardcore Harry thing. A sentence that no one's ever said. <laughs> <laughs> that's the including the people that made hardcore today. Henry. Henry. Yeah. That's the movie. Yeah, so it's first. It's a first person. No, 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 hardcore Harry. We. It's important to not remember the actual title of it <laughs> yeah. when referencing it's, it because it's, that's how unimportant it is. It's a first person perspective of a dinner party, of a dinner date, where your date doesn't show up, but his friends keep showing up for some reason. Waiting for <laughs> increasingly Henry. Henry's excuses. 
<laughs> like he just yeah they keep telling him why they keep telling you why their buddies like, oh not yeah here he's yet. cleaning out the 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 parrot the, the parrot cages and then the camera and then the camera the co- parrot cages and then the, and then you yeah. finally go to the bathroom at the he end of the movie on the and you were bruce willis the whole time oh my God. it's like that it's, oh yeah he looks in the mirror and yeah. he was bruce willis the whole time it's like that jake gyllenhaal movie where his wife becomes a spider at the end um, do what what? what are you talking are you talking about are you talking about franz kafka no, 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 no. It's, uh... Oh, what is that Jake, Jake Gyllenhaal movie where the, Gyllenhaal. she turns into a spider? Just at the very it's end. Like, the, the literal last Amazing. shot of the movie, like, his wife says something to him, and then he looks at her, and she's Enemy a... Enemy from 2013? She's a giant spider cowering in the corner, and then the movie ends. Like, it's weird as fuck. This can't exist. Enemy, what the Canadian this? psychological thriller from 2013. Look up Enemy End Scene. It's on YouTube. It's weird as hell. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It won't spoil anything because without context, it means nothing. And it probably, I don't know that it means anything with context. Well, thank you to everybody for listening to our enemy reboot leg. <laughs> it was a fun episode. I'm so glad to have my guests with me here today. Now we just got to get, let's, we're going to move on to our final secret Mountain Dew segment where we talk about where this is, we need a, a, a the food still and drink stuck into the format, but why? <laughs> Brock. Brock, but what? <laughs> we have to talk about Mountain Dew. It's in our contract. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. We get fined by Mountain Dew if we don't talk about it. Plus, it just it, it, it genuinely brings me joy how much research Rebecca does for this segment, which is admittedly not very much, but also so much more than me. Um, Rebecca, what, what's our Mountain Dew for, for Blackbeard, the pirate? Pirate Dew? So, is it real? Yeah. Th- in the year of 2019, Liberty Brew was a Mountain Dew flavor that was released for Memorial Day weekend. Oh, yeah, and was they just mixed three flavors. until August 11th of 2019. I remember that. They literally just took their red, white, and blue flavors and they poured them all into the same bottle. Like, they didn't make up a new flavor, technically. They just did, like, what if we poured these three things together? The color of it is midnight blue. Yeah, because that's what color it would turn when you mix, like, red and blue and white fluids it would be just like a kind of purple but we call it midnight blue and then what is what are we eating here hmm brock what would you eat while you watch this movie it's like a pirate food. what's a pirate, pirate food dude, brock, dude, what's a what pirate movie food? are we talking about in what fucking world do you remember what was happening any of 20 them. minutes any ago? of them. no one does <laughs> let me rephrase the question what's a pirate food Dried food like beans, pulses, and sea biscuits. Then beans. You say pulses? Yeah. What's a pulse? You mean a poultice? No, like a like a like it. a medicinal <laughs> like a medicinal lotion? No. What's a? Like when you, you talk about when you potions? Slap mud in a wound. You talk, what are Cook- you trying? It's called pulses. Cooking. So that's gonna do it for pulses. us. Thanks so much, everybody, for coming. This is uh, admittedly, I think. I'm not blaming Brock at all, but every episode with Brock <laughs> does get weirder than normal, and I'm not upset about it. I'm just saying it's happened, and I think it's just because we're all so happy to be here, for sure. That's my reason. Thank you, thank, but, but, but Brock, thanks a lot for coming. <laughs> thanks. This means a lot. I hope you did have a good time despite the, the bullshit of this episode. Oh, I, I, I'm surrounded in a circle of uh, dead mice corpses. I think you know that I've had just a Ugh. wonderful Sunday afternoon. How many up? How many are we up to now? How many corpses? A pulse is a legume. Rebecca, it's no Can one you believes spell you. Spell it for us, please. P U L S E. Like no, that's your like heartbeat. blood. That's blood, Rebecca. You can't no, eat it's, that. You you watch me. Um. Stop. You killing. can. <laughs> killing. Oh my god. Brock, how many Do we you up that? to? You're you're killing. You're killing. You're killing Brock. Hollywood. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I assure you that Hollywood is already dead. <laughs> Listeners, you can buy Brock's most recently published book, uh, which we talked about on our last episode with Brock before it was new. Uh, episode 110, Postal. The Boss Fight Books. Uh, you are real good at recalling the episode numbers. That's incredible. He's got it. He's I looking at the list. At He's looking at the list. He's beautiful minding over there. Um. You can find Brock on the internet as Brock Wilbur. That's his. That's his name. He got. He got to use his real name on Twitter. <laughs> yeah, he got his name. He you, got you, it for you, his birthday. And, he got that can, check mark. You got that check mark. You can find pulses at pulses dot org. <laughs> <laughs> Rebecca, why is this a thing? So Brock is. It's gonna, what pirates would eat. This uh, episode. This episode is. No, I thought pulses. they ate hardtack and backfat. <laughs> 
among <laughs> and pulses. You know, you know most 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 sea animals. You can just go ahead and bite into those like an apple. Until next time, I'm <laughs> Scott Owen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Frank Sarah. I'm the ghost of Rebecca Frost. And um, Brock, as you know, we need a password for our listeners for next episode. If I could just get one word from each of you, that'd be cool. Jesus Christ. That's- pulses. Oh, no, yep, yep, pulses. pulses. That was it. Pulses. <laughs> Jesus Christ, pulses. Okay, I'm going to hit stop. Mm-hmm.